Hey there, it's Tabitha Caro and I just wanted to share with you about the iPhone cutout tool. If you haven't tried it yet, just how fun it is and how it works perfectly with Canva to get cutouts from your iPhone pictures into your Canva design. So in Canva, I'm just going to open up a square document and I'm going to just show you first of all some things I did just for fun. So I just googled this picture of a waterfall. I am going to set it as the background. Then I went over, found a picture of my son, and I just tap on it like this. Copy, directly went over to Canva. You're gonna tap on it till you get the three dots. If you don't see the three dots there, you need to go to more. You also get this paste option. And there he is, and I just played around with it like he was about to go over the waterfall which is kind of <laughs> which is kind of silly and I also did one where he was riding an elephant okay let's talk seriously about how you can use this for your business well get a good selfie of yourself and you can just copy it into any of your designs And if you want it to stand out a little bit with an outline, you just need to go to Effects, Shadows, Glow, tap on Glow again, increase the size to however much you want, and then you can change the color to white. And then change the transparency till it's pretty much 100% and I get rid of the blur. Well, I might actually have a little bit of blur there. Yeah. I like that and maybe the size a little bit more and of course if you didn't like that color you could choose a color from the actual YouTube thumbnail and there you go you've got a quick YouTube thumbnail some other places I would use this is if you do Instagram carousels you can add this to that last slide of your carousel with a call to action There you go. So I hope this was helpful on how you can use the iPhone cutout tool to save you a lot of time. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.